so I'm kind of late on this, but the OnePlus 9 is going to be coming out very soon, probably within the next couple of months. And what's super crazy is that we've already been getting so many leaks and I'm so late to talking about it, but it's so important to say, first of all, the OnePlus 8T, great phone. I loved it. The OnePlus 8, tremendous phone as well. Now the OnePlus 9 is looking to be a kind of minor update and minor refresh from the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8T. Now the 8T is a little bit different because it really was kind of like a middle phone between the 8 Pro and the 8 to be honest but the 9 is supposed to be a decent upgrade. The 9 Pro is supposed to be separately, but the smaller OnePlus 9 should be a little bit of an improvement. Now, first of all, apparently the full spec sheet has already been leaked out about this device. Now, I'm not going to go say it's 100% accurate, but these things have been happening for quite a bit of time, and it's kind of always so funny to look at. The display size is going to be almost exactly the same. It actually is supposed to be exactly the same as the OnePlus 8. So it's going to have that 6.55 inch panel. It's still going to be 1080p. And honestly, as I stated before, OnePlus makes really decent panels for these devices. And it's still going to maintain 120 hertz. It's still going to have that inbuilt fingerprint sensor. So I don't think that's going to be that big of a problem. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm super okay with that phone having that type of display. It's also supposed to have an updated camera on the back with you know, either collaboration with Hasselblad, which is another camera model, whatever they do. I'm unsure if that's only a OnePlus 9 Pro feature or OnePlus 9 feature, but I guess we'll see what happens when they release it. But either or the camera is supposed to be probably around the same as the OnePlus 8. It's not going to be a humongous difference in terms of the camera standpoint, which is sad because OnePlus could really need some improvement, could really use some improvement for their camera setup. I think that's one area that OnePlus really needs to improve on. And I think we'll see whatever happens with their cameras, but if they can knock out the camera, they could potentially make almost the perfect Android phone with great software, great hardware, and a great camera. Now it's going to have that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset inside of it, which is the best chipset right now. I mean, we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 that had the capability and the Mi 11. Those are tremendous phones. I've had a lot of respect for them and they've been able to do, and they've been able to handle a lot of performance from those type of devices. So that's another humongous advantage there. Now on the front though, there is a little bit of a problem. Apparently it's only going to have a four megapixel front facing camera. And again, this is another area where OnePlus just keeps taking an L and I don't know what they're trying to do there if it's actually accurate. We don't know if it's accurate, but that's what the leaks are saying. And if that's the case, again, only 1080p on the front as well. It's going to be another L in my books. The battery life, though, is supposed to be the, almost the same as the OnePlus 8 with that 4500 mAh hour battery, and I think that's going to be pretty cool. You know, I like the OnePlus 8's battery life. I felt like it was pretty good, and the OnePlus 9 is supposed to be pretty much that, maybe a little bit more improved because of that you know, Qualcomm Snapdragon 88 chipset, but I think other than that, it's probably going to have a really solid battery life at the end of the day. Now, price tag is looking like it's going to be around that $749 price tag for the lowest option. We don't know for like 100% fact but that's what it's kind of looking like to be so that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind it hopefully doesn't go up in value if it does i'm going to cry but if it doesn't then that's going to be great so that really pretty much covers up everything for the most part that we know about the oneplus 9 right now again it should be coming out within the next couple of months and i cannot wait for this thing to come out because the oneplus series of devices are some of my favorites to come out this year so that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.